It was all a dream on the scene, making me. Then I came along and changed everything. From cyphers to diapers. Green jiggly things. But the grind don't stop. We just got a bigger team. Called the weight to the top. Mom, what does that mean? The time is now or never. We, we the are dream, dream team. team. <laughs> I was going to get paid for this. What's up guys? It's your girl Lyric Kane, aka Nini, aka whatever it is that you want to call me. I'm back with yet another reaction video. As requested in the comment section underneath one of my other videos, today I'm gonna be reacting to MGK Home Soon Live at Park Ave CDs. Sorry, hold on. So yeah, the original video link will be in the description box down below, as well as all of my social media links. Make sure that you follow us on IG, Best Friends Since Birth. Also check out my music page on IG, Lyric Kane Official. Also in the description box down below, you'll be able to find my other YouTube channel. Make sure that you head over there and check out my music. If you like what you hear, then go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss out on all of my latest music videos, original songs, cover songs, remakes, remixes, challenges, and live performances. And with that being said, uh, got my pen and my paper. I've adjusted the volume. Let's get into it. So far, we're good. All right. Now they told me to write a soundtrack for the kids who ain't I have shit. No problem, flash like me, 2006. Broke his piss, make him bust me up. Dollar 50 cents, get out of school and go to work. Matter of fact, fuck all this, I quit. I got a trick. <laughs> then we gon' change the world soon. And one day, get the fuck out of this bedroom. Maybe write a song for the girl who cries when she thinks of the past. Just press play, I tell the smile. Then she laughs, look at that, yeah. Music makes the world go round. And the ones in search of freedom generates a two crowd. All it takes is one believer with the voice to introduce us to what's real. And since my throat is clear, I guess that's why I'm here. Uh oh, shit. See, my teachers told me go away to college. But they don't tell you is ain't no guarantees if you're a scholar. Even with 18 degrees, it could be jobless with Uncle Sam in your pockets. So I said, fuck my doctor, grab the name on money and any doctors. Now, one day I'll be too proud driving three girls in my photo. With these five days, make the fellowship a small ring, bitch, I photo. Don't the door to see if I bounce back like a pogo. And we just watch the song. Turn it to the phone. Sit back and hope the things are seven. I turn it to Jones. See, it started as a dream. That dream came true. Send the message to Orlando. Tell her we'll be home soon. Home hey. soon. Uh. Check. Now there's a meaning to this thing called life. But you just gotta find it in this thing called strength. I wish I could rewind and show you this is all hype. Show you just because they stars doesn't mean they got stripes. For real though, but me, I got the verses that I killed off. And me, I need a scene that I should family I would kill for. To the fam who held me down before the deal though, and I can't forget my team. I pray one day we make a million, blow it all. Shit, cause when we die, we ain't taking it with us. Materials make the king, knowledge makes an apprentice. Now ain't that backwards, we impressed by the fame and the Sarah. My girl a queen, she don't need a tiara Come She low. don't need an umbrella either, just give her the rain We don't need help, we build the pyramids without a crane And say sometimes I feel we born without a brain And don't be looking at the dollars, what we really need is change I'm Come saying, low. that shit doesn't register Might as well get used to stealing singles out the register Baby, by the corner, she need 34 with pedica Still a no collector, blow your phone up on a regular Like how I'm supposed to live, baby One thing for sure, I know the block ain't gonna get it for me. Two things for certain, I ain't trying to let a pigeon tell me. And if they is, just know I'm walking with my pistol on me. This ain't that B shit or C shit. 
This is that D O R D shit that means do or die. Cause ain't no you if it's you and I. Now, I ain't a gangster, but I will be just to stay alive. I'm smoking in the car, staying hot. Go to the cinema, stay the night. My life's like TV with this daytime drama. All this law and order, a lot of comedy and relationships. Like Tina at night, these bitches crazy. Damn. That's why I'm telling you, you could be the greatest. Why would you want to be regular? Stare up at the sky instead of staring at a cellular. You could be the greatest. Why would you want to be regular? Man. Now, I just want to live, baby. This is a live, baby. Man, you ain't got to have a kind of war crib, baby. Shit. Because you forgot the first rule of the game. They don't remember riches, they just remember the name, Kel. They hesitated to clap at first. They didn't know if he was done or not. <laughs> Man, I swear, y'all, I'm just falling head over heels for MGK. I absolutely love this for several, several reasons. But um, let's talk about this one first. Live bands. Am I the only one? I absolutely love it when hip-hop artists are able to perform with live bands. I feel like it takes us back to our roots back in the day. Like, if y'all really think I, where hip-hop started, it was a whole lot of percussion going on on the stages and things of that nature. And then it was basically kind of rhyming over that. And they were kind of developing into what we had was like the, the mouthpiece, you know, the... I can't be boxed, <laughs> but y'all get what I'm saying. I really just enjoy that. Uh, another artist that I felt like who really did that pretty well was the Jay-Z Unplugged. I seen that back in the day, and I thought he literally killed that. So definitely air high five for him because a lot of artists don't do that. And plus, nowadays, a lot of artists, I don't want to say they're lazy, but they've gotten in the habit of rapping with a track. When I say a track, I'm not meaning just an instrumental track. I mean like full lyrics in the background. I remember when I started doing this, I was probably about nine when I started, and I literally had to know every last one of my songs from A to Z. Like, I had to know where to take the breaths. I had to know where the ad-libs was, all of that, because it was literally just music being played when I performed. Slowly, as I began to um, continue to grow and just, like, go on with this, I think, actually, I didn't really notice this trend until after. Because I stopped music for a little bit. For, like, two years I did. No, like, three years. I went to school, I got my um, degree in child education, in child development, and um, yeah, then I had Corey, so I was taking time with her, and then once I came back in like 2015, I'm trying to think of when I officially stopped though, but I came back in 2015, and that was like the new thing, like everybody had like these full, like it was actually this track from, that was on the CD that was being played behind me, and I remember showing up to a show like, you know, fresh back in the game, and they looking at me like, what is this, this is just, it's just a beat, this is, this is just a beat. I'm like, yeah, the reps in here, like, it's going to come out of my mouth. And they're like, nah, we don't do that. <laughs> so it's really crazy how they kind of made that switch. So once again, air high five to him because that's taking it back to the roots once again. And just like, they don't top of your shit. Like, you shouldn't have to depend on that track. It makes you lazy. You should definitely want to go in and kill it. I know, like, a lot of venues nowadays, they don't let you do it that way. Like, they much rather, or they make it seem like they much rather have the full track. I don't know why, but that's kind of what they make it seem like. Um, this right here was a very intimate setting, which is now the second or third time I've seen this in one of his videos. I think that's dope that he allows for these moments. He creates these opportunities to have those one-on-one -on -one with the fans. I mean, granted, it's not literally him and one other person, but it's much smaller than those large venues. There's much less space in between them than those huge venues where there's a stage and then you got the people way over here in the nosebleeds and so on and so forth. And I feel like that's really dope of him. It shows how humble he is and the fact to know that he's still on the same playing field as the rest of them. He doesn't put himself any higher or kind of looking down at them. That's the way I look at it. Um, a line in here, I mean, was full of dope lines as usual, but the line that resonated with me the most, he said, you could be the greatest, so why would you want to be regular? I know I've mentioned this a lot of times because I just don't get it. I, I say it, and I don't mean any disrespect, but I always seem to find these individuals who are just content with, um, like he said, being regular. I'm not saying everybody needs to crave to be a movie star or an actress or a dancer or something that's going to give them fame and notoriety variety but you should want to be the best like i don't understand those individuals who are content with being where they are like for instance those people who've been working at a company for like the last 50 years and it's like bro you've been at the company for 50 years yes and it's like wait 
but you've been in the same position for 50 years. Like, that has never set with me. Like, if you're going to do something, my grandma's always told me, if you're going to do something, damn it, you're going to be the best one at it. And if you're not the best one at it, you're going to convince yourself first, first and foremost that you're the best at it so that you have that type of confidence. And then you'll slowly but surely convince the world. That's my two cents on that, though. Go ahead and get in the comment section down below and let me know what you thought. Was you digging it? Was you not? If so, tell me why. If not, tell me why. There were tons of dope lines in here. Let me know what resonated with you the most. Another thing that he did in here that I thought was pretty dope was when he said basically his life is like TV episodes and he started going into like um, crime scenes and CSI and all shit like that. I thought that right there was a definitely fly little cute way to, to mix that up in there. You know, cute little metaphors like that. But yeah, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss out. Till next time, guys. Peace out. I'm out of here.